Esteemed audience, we live in a world made of energy. Every company in the world either produces energy or consumes energy. You and I, even the numbers on our bank accounts are made up of energy. I am sad to say the ripple effect of the byproduct of the power we consume doesn't look too good. We are slowly polluting our lands and ourselves, and I have been traveling almost all around the world looking for possible solutions and penning down my research. Fourth, in the middle of my frustration, news got to me about a sudden breakthrough. It was during this summer that I ran into an old friend at a conference in Italy for condensed matter nuclear research. He told me he found a way to produce spontaneous electric currents. I was not hesitant to jump on the first available plane to visit his laboratory in Paris, France. Ladies and gentlemen, I present unto thee the fusion diode. This particular fusion diode is made from palladium and a semiconducting material enclosed into a special lathe machined aluminum casing. The tip on the top of the fusion diode is a valve and when charged with a special and rare type of gas, the fusion diode starts to produce an electric current, possibly from some kind of exotic fusion reaction. The smaller tip on the bottom allows anyone to easily test the electric current with equipment called a voltmeter, which is readily available on eBay. We recorded a video together in the laboratory. Check it out! Hi, my name is Fabrice David, speaking to the follower of Dr. Blog from Sergi Campius, near Paris, France. What is a fusion diode? A fusion diode is made of palladium in close contact with a semiconductor wafer like silicon. When we put deuterium into this diode, it is possible to record a spontaneous voltage. It is perhaps the direct conversion of fusion energy into electrical energy. Of course, it is possible to use nickel and hydrogen with this technology at high temperature to reproduce or result with a fusion diode. While the materials to produce a fusion diode are expensive, the energy seems to be produced for free. The electric current remains until the gas slowly leaked out through the diode. Today, a fusion diode produces only a small electric current, but utilizing other materials and scaling up the technology this new venture could possibly change the world forever. Based on my instructions, the scientists have already started to work on a new improved version. For now, if further tested and validated, the value of fusion diodes are easy to test proofs that we have nudged science along. An incredible toy that could open up the floodgates all over the world to serious investment into alternative clean energy research. Obey me, Dr. Bob. <laughs> Thank you all for listening. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, information and technology can solve all our problems. Everything changes.